this episode of Woolly Mammoth Gaming. Girl, look at his face. It's yeah. creepy. He's like, I'm coming for you. 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 Everyone, come to Tasmania. Come to Tasmania. Come to Tasmania. We mean you. We're playing Tasmania. For the Sega Genesis. <laughs> oh my god, I love this game. This game is not good, but I freaking love it. I don't like it. You don't like it? I love it. We make it work. All yes. right, so let's do... I, I don't know what the options are. Let's just start this game. So in case you don't know... We're Wooly Mammoth. We're Wooly Mammoth Gaming. Okay, I need time to drop you for a second. <laughs> Once, long ago, Tasmania was ruled by giant prehistoric seabirds. They were so big that one of their giant eggs could feed a family for years. Eggs? Ah. Actually, that's... Kill. Taz doesn't wow. talk. He would just Kills. be like, plop, plop, plop. That's right, Taz. There are even legends that there is a lost valley where the giant bird still lives. Eggs and all. But that's only a legend. Don't you remember? He has like a weird 1950s accent. That's true. Dad. I should do the actual voice from the TV show. I kind of forgot. I haven't seen this yeah, TV show in a while. Yeah, come on. I know. Can you do the voice? A guy voice like that? 1950s? Alright, so we are Taz. I don't know. Can't. Um, we can eat peppers for some reason, and the peppers let us shoot fire. You can jump, you can spin. Um, you can take these guys out by spinning. There's these Stonehenge uh, guys that are there for some reason. I don't know. Oh, I, I died. Wow, yay. Okay. Great that beginning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's forget about that and let's start over. Okay. Let's, let's start over. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. Um, but yeah, we can drink some water. Water increases your health. Yeah, you want to jump over those fountains, not into them. And with the, your fire breath, you can do that. You can kill the stone guys. Well, yeah, what the hell are they supposed to be? Just these blockheads that move around? Blockhead. Little legs. You blockhead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what uh, is that? Like, yeah, and you don't want to eat the bad guys because that just hurts you. Cave spider or something? Cave yeah. I guess it's something from Australia, right? Because this is... <laughs> we need er, to go over there and see this. Well, actually, this is Tasmania, right? Oh, that's true. This is be Tasmania, right? Tasmania. That's a place, right? Tasmania. Yeah, yeah. It's, a it's not just a cartoon from the 90s. It's an actual place no, called Tasmania. No, it's an actual island. Where they have the... Have you ever seen what an actual Tasmanian devil looks like? Uh, I think so. Taz looks nothing like an actual Tasmanian devil, right? They're like little, yeah. like, gopher things, right? He looks like an oversized uh, hamster. <laughs> that's what he looks like. <laughs> With his mouth open all the time. Oh my gosh. Cause yeah, I've seen one. Yeah, yeah, and then that's it for level one. I, like I think, like, I used to have like a box with like uh, cars. They're kind of they were a little bigger than index cards, and they were like all about zoo animals. Yeah. And I used to keep them in this small cardboard box. It was like a whole. Uh, you buy them oh my God. through like. I don't know, mail order or something. I, I, I feel like I know what you're talking about. This is like stuff that existed before the internet. Like yeah, zoo yeah, books. Yeah. Did you have zoo books? No. Do you remember? I they used would... to go to the library to zoo books. Oh my god, they'd advertise the crap out of that on TV. It was just like a magazine with zoo animals in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could definitely see index cards with the same stuff. I don't know if it was from them or not, but yeah. My parents used to get that for me. And it was like this little box, almost like a shoe box. And you would get these cards, they're bigger than an index card, and they had the image of the animal. And in the, on the back side, it was like their bio, you know? They oh, was, was it trying to be like baseball cards? Because I know they, I feel like they had, I guess. like, they would do, like, baseball cards for other stuff, like presidents and, like, whatever, um... I don't know. They would do baseball cards for animals, like, all this weird stuff. I feel like it may have been related to that. I mean, well, the thing is, they were much bigger than a baseball card. Oh, so they it wasn't like, that it size. It was like, you know, index card, but they were like double the size of an index card. And you fit them gotcha. in this box. And it had a lid and you open it and you look through it. And I think you could actually like group them into categories too with special yeah. tab cards or something. But, but so I think I had like a, Tasmanian a card devil of one. a Tasmanian devil. And it, it looked nothing like this. And yeah, it didn't look like that. <laughs> okay, what are you doing with this Blockhead. Sorry, I, I was making him follow me in the wrong direction. I'm hoping no one noticed. He actually, I actually need to get him to follow me this way, because oh, okay. I could jump on his head and get a secret. Yeah, I was like, what are you doing? With this, this is just very tedious, and there's like no music now. It's in the background somewhere. Yeah, is it's it? coming. Yeah. Is yeah. it coming? I don't yeah, hear. yeah, it's coming. It's I don't coming. Hear it. ah. Oh my god, the music's coming. coming so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, um, so let's see. Come on, come on. Oh, I feel like God. it's only a little further. Oh, yeah, see, it's up there. See he's that? Gone. Oh, dude, that, that's a there. three up. He's such a stalker. Look at his face. It's yeah. creepy. He's like, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Yeah. I'm coming for you. 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 Oh, you got behind Don't me. miss it. There oh, go. my <laughs> God. Could you imagine you missed it? Because it took forever just oh, yeah. to do this. <laughs> oh, my God. So this, this, this game, you basically just want to be spinning a lot. Always be spinning. Because then... So you don't want to eat these bombs. Because if you eat the bombs, they take half your health. So you want to be your careful about them. Your belly blows out. Yeah. You have, and you have a major gas. indigestion. Yeah. You gotta take uh, uh, antacid. I, I couldn't think of what's the name of it. Tums. Tums. Um, tum, I know. Tum, tum. <laughs> Obviously, tum. I do not watch cartoon <laughs> or uh, advertisements in a while because I couldn't even think of it. <laughs> so, what are these jugs? Is this water they, or soda? They give you, I assume, water because there's like some post apocalyptic shit happening in the background. I don't know what that is. That's a desert, isn't it? It looks awful. It looks like the moon or something. It's just a cracked up desert. It's all dry and shit. Man, they need some rain. Yeah. They need some rain. I guess it's the Blame northern part of this island. Rain. I like how the northern part of the island's a desert and the southern part's like Antarctica. It's yeah. Like... <laughs> well, isn't that kind of like those places oh, over there? Maybe. But see, that's why you don't want to eat the bombs because they take like half your health. It's... So why you did that? Because I was showing you guys what not to do. Oh, oh my god. Oh, nice. Okay, so this guy is super easy. You're like, oh my god, a boss. This is going to be hard. Nope. Boom. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Boom. You jump on him. Boom. Boom. Oh, I missed. There we go. And that's Are these it. those uh, the alligators that the, try to... Yeah, the, the hunters. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my they god. have like an Australian accent or something. They're like, oh, Crocky, oh, I said Tasmanian devil. All over soul one. Something like that, right? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Uh, Acme. Acme. So you gotta go up here. <laughs> so this looks like just regular wall, but that's actually, you can't go through this wall. It's kind of weird. Yeah, they didn't do the that? best with the environment designs. And you gotta jump over the, those, I don't know what those things are, the pistons. The spinning <laughs> things. Because yeah, they'll hurt you. Something like that, yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll hurt you. And you can eat turkeys. Again, it's very Streets of Rage style. You eat complete turkeys. <laughs> just lying around <laughs> on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so why bother with the egg if you could just eat turkey? Because it's a fucking giant egg. Who doesn't want an omelet made with a giant egg? Oh, God. <laughs> Are you saying the story for this game is flawed? It's super flawed. I I'm going to call the game designers right now. Look at that. That looks much better than a giant egg. A, a whole turkey? <laughs> and he eats like 30 of them on this journey. Yeah, it's like by the time he goes for the egg, he's like, I'm full. I'm, I'm full. That's a terrible Taz impersonation. <laughs> Here's what he's going to say. Yeah, said, yeah there you go. <laughs> full, full, full. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> plop, plop, plop. Would you get a tattoo of the Tasmanian devil? Why would I want that? I don't know, but it's a popular tattoo for some reason, right? Okay. I remember in the 90s, maybe you remember this, maybe, because yeah. we are about are you, uh, Is this going to be a apart. Space Jam conversation? Because no. Because I am ready. I came with notes. I'm prepared to talk about Space Jam for Good the next place. three hours. No, I've never seen Space Jam, okay? Oh my god, no. how horrible. Back in the 90s, it was a thing to ha have like shirts with the Looney Tune characters. Oh, yeah, I used to have some. But the thing is, some of them were dressed like gangsters or something. Oh, I know what you're Like, I remember about. the one yeah. for Taz, he would wear like a bandana or oh, something, yeah, yeah. and he had baggy jeans and a big shirt too. You remember those? Yeah, I remember those. Have you those. seen him? Yeah. He looked like some fucking Mexican uh, gangster yeah, from LA or something. Uh, yeah, like a part of the, the, <laughs> the Bloods or the Crips or something. Ooh, yeah. That was the wrong lever. You guys gotta make sure to pull the right lever. I think I used to have like one shirt that had like the whole gang and they were all dressed like gangsters. And it's, I was like, this cannot be right. <laughs> it's weird. The Looney Tunes were big in the 90s for some reason, right? I feel like they had like a resurgence in the 90s. Yeah, oh my God. right. You're getting hit by lasers. I feel like they had like a resurgence in the 90s. I don't know. I guess it was, but I feel like Space Jam was just part of the resurgence. Like there was yeah. already like new Looney Tunes cartoons. Cause I remember I having know, a Bugs Bunny T-shirt and Bugs Bunny PJs. Right, right. And I yeah, like... I don't know what really prompted that because yeah, I, well yeah, Space Jam came out around that time. Yeah. But they had their own shirts and stuff. I feel this was just kind of weird, like just to have them look like gangsters. Oh like, no! I, so I don't get what was that. I don't know way. where that came from. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, by the way, you have to pull levers in this or else you get electrocuted. Um, 
I, I didn't exactly explain why I'm pulling the levers, but see these like glass doorways? If you go through them without pulling the lever, you'll get electrocuted. And I knocked the three up out of the way. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. So this is so bad. We're gonna. So I think in order for to promote this video, we're gonna put Clovis in one of those gangster. Oh no! I lost <laughs> all my. I got crushed. Oh uh. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm doing this as amateur hour here with this game. Uh, I gotta start over. There's, there's no checkpoints? I guess not. Oh my god, this is gonna be awful. And I was like, I'm gonna beat this game. I don't know. This is not not, not boding well for me here. Keep the faith, George. God. Oh wait, this is the end? No, this is- I still got ways to go. Um, yeah, maybe. I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do what this. What are they building anyways? It's like a know. robot on a tank. Does that make sense? I no, no, a lot of stuff in this game does not make sense. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, gonna tell you, as we continue forward with this game, you're gonna be like, what is happening? <laughs> none like of it is from the- put it to words. None of it is from the cartoon. Yeah. None of it makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, huh? Well, well, this game, I, I think this game was actually made in the US, but there's a lot of these games, like Tiny Toon Games and Animaniacs and whatever. Mm, yeah. They were made in Japan by people who had not seen the cartoon it was based on. Really? <laughs> so it was like... That is uh, so screwy. Right? So it's like, um... The, there's... It was sometimes loosely based, and sometimes what they would do is they would do asset swapping, where they would have made a different game, and then they would just take um, the characters and swap them out with like Looney Tunes characters or whatever to make a Looney Tunes game. Jeez. Like it was a completely different game and they would just acid swap everything to, not everything, but like a couple of the characters and enemies to make it look like a Looney Tunes or whatever. It sounds like a hot mess. Yeah, it's it's not uneven and not exactly based on the property it's based on or whatever. It doesn't exactly resemble the property it's based on. but. Some of those games were pretty good. The Tiny Toons ones were pretty good from what I remember. I'm trying to think if I ever played... I might have played one that I rented out from like Blockbuster Video. Oh my god. Did you watch the blo last Blockbuster Netflix documentary? No. We started watching the Console Wars one. Yeah, that looked interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's, they definitely try to make Nintendo look bad, yeah. which I think a lot of people are not going to care for that. Yeah, but, right, right, um, right. And Nintendo did do some bad, you know, some things that weren't very nice. I mean, they had proof. There was, like, interviews with some of these people that was running Nintendo, and they were very cocky. Yeah, they were I mean. cocky, but they were also doing, like they said, Nintendo was... And I think it was a very Japanese thing to be... Um, very like in control of the production of the games so a lot of developers didn't really like working for nintendo and that was something throughout nintendo for a long time up through like the gamecube where a lot of developers did not like working with nintendo because they tried to control everything wow um and that ended up doing them in a little bit because they definitely got killed by the ps1 Just... which was much more developer uh -huh. friendly right 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 but there's, yeah, you could go into the whole history of all these console wars and all this stuff. Pretty cutthroat, huh? Yeah, so this game, the bad thing about this game is that you have to do a lot of what's called like blind jumping, where you just have to yeah. jump forward without seeing where you're going. Leap of faith! <laughs> which is not a great game design choice, um, especially this level in particular is really bad about that. And then this level just glitches out at the end. It's so weird. <laughs> well, I guess they were like, you guys fixed that glitch in the ice level, right? It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Fred, did you fix the glitch in the ice level? Oh, I thought you did it. Oh, it's boy. like three in the fucking morning. I want to go. We already home. produced a million cartridges, and you're telling me there's a glitch? <laughs> Somebody got fired. I hope someone got fired for that blunder. Well, I don't know that this game was necessarily winning game of the year in 1993 <laughs> or whenever this game came out. No? I forgot to pay what attention happened? to the they beginning. They so hard. <laughs> Actually, it's a good game. It's a good platformer. Uh, well, I use the word good loosely. It's a it's competent hard, platformer. Man. Oh, you lost your turkey. Oh, I need a turkey. You lost your turkey. Turkey time. I guess should we pause it here? Well, let me see. Well, let me wait till I die. Let's see if I either beat this level or die. Let's see what happens. What happens? Beat it. Beat, beat it. Beat it. I'm gonna beat. I'm do like the Michael Jackson and just beat it. Beat just it. beat it. Beat it. Beat, beat it. it. Beat it. Oh, we gotta Don't play Moonwalker. Beat this game now. We gotta play Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I kind of got carried away there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear your Michael Jackson impersonation. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I'm like. 
trying oh, to think of one that's not oh offensive. God, or, George, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. In your face. I'm not I doing mean, it. the I'm viewers are not <laughs> seeing it in your face, but I can see in your face you're okay. trying to do something. I'm bad. not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> no Michael Jackson impersonation from me. I'll do my Bill Cosby instead. <laughs> Bill Cosby. <laughs> Pudding <laughs> snack. <laughs> Why does he sound Russian? Pudding <laughs> snack. <laughs> if I was to ask you to do an impersonation of our Russian Bill Cosby, that would be it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Russian. Holding <laughs> snack. <laughs> That's Russian now. <laughs> uh, All right, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> or, well, get some jello. <laughs> get some pudding. <laughs> I thought it was jello. It's both, silly. Okay. We'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>